Uncle Marty became ill on that film. And um, uh, I went through a terrible year, you know, when he passed away. I didn't think I'd ever get over it. It was after that death, when there had to be an accounting, it was discovered. She's not only a survivor, but she is a happy survivor. Thank God I had that series because that paid the lawyers. And we went seven years with that. And um, so that was a blessing. That was a real godsend. She may look delicate, but she's a strong, self-sufficient, intelligent lady. She is a great actress. She's a great singer and uh, a humanitarian. Doris now lives in the tranquility of the Carmel Valley in California, close to her son Terry, her daughter-in-law Jacqueline, and her grandson Ryan. And it's here that Doris dedicates her time to her favorite cause, the rights and protection of animals. I just hope that I can uh, really make it better for the animals. I know I have so far with my pet foundation. And uh, oh, we've placed so many doggies and cats in wonderful homes with terrific people. And that is just thrilling for them. I don't think she has ever really thought of herself as, quote, superstar. She has chosen her way of life up in Carmel with all her animals. That's been a personal choice. But she doesn't go with an entourage wherever she goes. She doesn't have to be in a clump of people to be oh, a buster and Leroy. And some of them have big whiskers. And they take over the whole Jeep wagon here. And you know she's there because the dogs light up the whole neighborhood. Doris is my neighbor uh, these days. She lives uh, in Carmel Valley. I live down in Carmel. And I see her frequently. She comes to a fabulous Mission Ranch. and. Uh, I, and I see her at, at her office, which is a safe way. I just love going to the market. That's how long I'll go on giving.